What's up guys and welcome to the top 5 fan theories that we created for The Last of Us Part 2. I'm going to tell you what they are and I want to discuss them a little bit and open up a conversation. If you have a theory about what's going on in The Last of Us 2, let me know and I may cover it in a future video. But anyways, let's just jump right into it. So first off, the one that's probably the most popular and talked about the most at this moment is that Joel is dead. Now there are a lot of things supporting this and go against it. Some of the things that support it is Joel's weird character. You know, his clothes are completely cleaned, his hair is combed backwards as if he was going to some type of formal event. He looks almost like his clothes just got straight out of the washing machine. And it doesn't really fit his character. Joel is usually this intense character, but also this could mean that he's living a normal life. That would probably explain why his clothes is completely clean. And that this was just a random surprise attack. That Joel and Ellie was actually living peacefully. But even them not showing Joel's face, people are saying they didn't show Joel's face because Joel's dead. He's not meant to have a real presence there. However, I do disagree with this just a little bit because the main focus on the last of us part two is actually ellie ellie will be the playable character and joel will probably take the role ellie had in the first last of us game as a supporting person during gameplay there are a lot of ups and downs to this theory but this is probably the most popular one do i believe joel's dead not necessarily but hey anything can happen at this point the next theory is something i found in a conversation on a form i found online Basically, in the beginning of the trailer, we see this huge scratch on a tree branch. Now, yes, this could be made by some type of animal like a bear. However, people are speculating that this is a new type of infected creature that's going around. So perhaps the bloodshed we see in the house was not the fireflies, not caused by the fireflies, but perhaps by a new type of infected. And Ellie is pretty much saying she's going to kill all these new infected creatures. My thing is, what type of huge infected creature will actually make a mark on a tree this big and this visible? Time has passed between the first Last of Us game and this Last of Us game. So maybe new mutations have appeared in the world of The Last of Us. Another theory is a theory I found on a YouTube video. I'll leave a link in the description to that video but in that video this person had said that maybe Ellie was actually a mother that she gave birth to a child and the fireflies came and ambushed Ellie once they got word that Ellie had a child because the child may have the cure inside of it to actually save mankind from the cordyceps. Even though they couldn't get their hands on Ellie, they killed everybody in Ellie's camp. They put the sign on the stop sign in the trailer, and when Ellie came home, she sees that all her companions are actually dead. And the bruises on her knuckles and on her face all happened at a battle before she stepped back inside of camp with the fireflies. So the fireflies are obviously trying to send some type of message to Ellie. What do you guys think about this? This will definitely cause the hatred in Ellie of her trying to get her kid back. And it'll kind of fit um, The Last of Us 1. In The Last of Us 1, the world took everything away from Joel. And all Joel had left was his so-called daughter. Or the person he thought thinks of as his daughter, which was Ellie, who was about to die. By the doctors taking the cure out of her. So maybe this is the same situation. Maybe at the end of the game, Ellie is going to face the same choice Joel had to make at the end of the first Last of Us game. Honestly, that is a amazing story that the parallels between Joel and Ellie are really coming close together. This next theory comes from more forms online. Also what I believe is actually happening here is that Tommy's dam is destroyed. Now Tommy's dam was the place that Ellie and Joel went to at the end of the Last of Us game. Tommy's dam had over 20 families strong, had running electricity, livestock and look like the perfect place to go to in this apocalyptic world now whatever caused the destruction of this place led to joe and ellie finding a new place to go which is why we see them in what seems to be an abandoned camp in the beginning of this trailer now 
oh, there's obviously only two possibilities of who destroyed Tommy's dam. It's either the infected came, new mutations of the infected, or the fireflies, or even bandits who wanted in on this place. A lot of things can be happening with Tommy's dam, but I have the feeling that it's no longer there and that everybody is separated. And the final theory here, and it's actually a very plausible theory, is Ellie and Joel will have a huge falling out and they will separate from one another. Ellie and Joel seem to be a very great father-daughter relationship going on in the first Last of Us game. From all the gameplay interactions we had, the dialogue that was being spoken, how Joel was very rough to Ellie in the beginning of the game, and they really began warming up to each other. It even got to a point where Ellie did not feel safe with anybody else except for Joel, when Joel tried to pass her on to his brother Tommy. There is a great relationship between Ellie and Joel, and it probably makes Last of Us one of the greatest stories because it's so remarkable and relatable. However, in the PSX interview with Neil Druckmann, along with several other cast members of The Last of Us 2, Neil Druckmann said that if The Last of Us 1 was about love, was about connections between father and daughter, the Last of Us Part 2 is the opposite of that. The Last of Us 2 main theme will be hatred. Now what better hatred to do in The Last of Us Part 2 is between Joel and Ellie. If you do remember, Joel did lie to Ellie at the end of The Last of Us 1. And it seemed like the okay that she said at the end of The Last of Us 1 is saying that yes, I understand you're lying, but I will go along with it anyways. Maybe with Ellie's vengeful manner, she eventually finds the fireflies and she learns the truth about what happened. Ellie and Joel have a huge falling out with one another leading into the end of their father-daughter relationship. Now, what would happen? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Joel goes crazy and was like, Ellie, you're not going nowhere. He takes her hostage. I don't know. Anything can happen in this type of scenario. But the fact of the matter is, if this game is about hatred, they may actually have a huge falling out with one another. What do you guys think about all five of these theories? I think some are interesting. I think some aren't true at all. I don't think some would actually happen. Um, like I said, one of the most popular ones is Joel is dead. So let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have your own theory, let me know because I may actually cover it in a video. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.